Greenway. Now, the, uh, <laughs> leave to make a contribution to this debate. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. I call the member for Balmain. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to start today by welcoming those people here today who have dedicated themselves to support the Greenway and, in particular, the Friends of the Greenway. I'd also like to acknowledge the fantastic work of the local councils in the area who have worked tirelessly to support the Greenway, Leichhardt, Marrickville, Ashfield and Canterbury councils. And it's your hard work which has brought this campaign to the floor of the New South Wales Parliament today in order to record the importance of this matter. It's just another step in the campaign. The 10,000 signatures is a great achievement and it's an evidence of the groundswell of support for this matter in the community. And the fact is that campaigns work because it was this same campaign that forced the former Labor government to drop its opposition to the uh, Inner West light rail project from Lilyfield to Dulwich Hill and eventually they finally and correctly supported that light rail and combined Greenway project. With such strong support, with an active, ongoing community-based campaign, the government cannot simply continue to ignore this. I have raised this issue in Parliament, along with other members that have spoken eloquently here today in the House, in speeches, in questions, in meetings with the Minister, in questions on notice, and today we have heard the government announce the light rail project, that work will commence on that project, and that is a positive start, it is a great announcement, but the project is incomplete without the Greenway. And we've engaged in this campaign around the Greenway because it stands on its merits. It's not about deals or political expediency or politicking. It's about an important project that delivers environmental, social and economic benefits, not just to the people of the Inner West, but to all of Sydney. It delivers wide-ranging benefits, both for the Inner West, but the thousands of commuters who will benefit from an integrated active transport option which will enhance the effectiveness of the light rail. The Greenway also provides a safe option for children to walk or cycle to school, with 21 schools located in the catchment. And we've heard the government talk about a lack of funding. Well, there's funding priority, for example, to give a $300 million gift to the registered clubs, to poker machine businesses, a uh, $300 million tax cut to them, but not enough money for the Greenway. So now it's time for the government to commit to building the Greenway alongside the light, light rail corridor because we know it will cost significantly more to add the Greenway to the light rail corridor. Um, I, I'm pleased that the Minister is here today and I respect the fact that she's come because Ministers often don't come to these petition debates, but I'd like to call on the Minister to tour the project, to offer an invitation to the Minister to come and see how effectively the Greenway links with other transport options, to encourage active transport and to increase patronage on the light rail system. Yeah. Madam Speaker, the Greenway does enjoy huge support in my electorate and after over a decade of community campaigning, I look forward to working with this government, calling on them and agitating to make sure the government act, will act now to build this important project. We call on the government to build the Greenway. Thank you. The debate on the 10,000 signature petition has concluded.